Welcome back, my pretty people. How y'all doing? Dory back again. Today's uh, little session on quick tips is going to be how to do your touch-up with your hair color a little bit. Now, that's something that I really like to do. I like to color my hair. I color my hair almost every three weeks, and I'm always having something a little bit different, a little bit changed because of my feel. I want to show you all today uh, how to take care of those little touch-ups. You know, we seem to have our hair grows and we start having, if y'all can see this, some gray coming in, right? So um, I'm going to show you all some quick ways to get rid of that and uh, until you go to your stylist and you're ready to go to your color specialist to get your hair, in, her, your hair color in there. Uh, if you do it yourself at home, people with the bottles and that kind of thing, um, I don't recommend the little bottles where you squeeze everything on, and everything and then you squeeze it all over and then you have some patches here, some here, and then, oh, Dory, this too bright in here. You know, those are just things that are going to happen with these kind of color boxes. They're not meant to last. If they were meant to last, they wouldn't be in the business for this long. Okay, so my advice, go to a professional. You're going to pay, but at least it's going to be every three or four weeks. You know, you, you can have it done correctly. Uh, usually what I do with my clients, uh, I've had them for a long time. I use, all well, mine, I'm going to use a 6N just to fill in the little uh, grays. And I use a 20. That's a good developer for anybody that has gray hair. I wouldn't advise you to use the 10. I, if you need it a little bit brighter and quicker, you can use the 30s. Stay away from the 40s, that starts to damage your hair, and 50 on the volumes. Um, so it's usually the way you buy a color, it's usually half and half. On um, the L'Oreal's is usually, uh, they're very concentrated, so you can put a little bit more developer on that. Now you people that have itchy hair and that kind of thing, there's things out there for you. There's organic stuff. There's um, things you can buy that are... Um, not uh, not going to make your scalp itch. Uh, they're going to be sensitive. So you have a system that's made into an ammonia base and a system that is made into an organic oils. They don't go together. It's either one or the other. You have to choose. Okay. What do I advise or what do I use? I use from one to another. Uh, I don't have that, that itchy uh, issue with my my hair. So I can use anything. Uh, but you people, I have a lot of clients that have uh, very sensitive and delicate scalp, so I tend to use the uh, more organic oils. Now, on the oils, you have to stay a little bit longer on the timing, probably 45 minutes, versus the ammonia, 30 minutes. And you have to be more delicate in with the oils because wherever you're going to paint, that's the only part that's going to paint. Unlike the ammonia, whenever you paint, it kind of runs because it's ab absorbing the other colors and the other hairs in there. Uh, so anyway, what I do with my clients so they can go from one month to another, and sometimes they have these little issues like me right now. So I'm going to do my little touch-ups, but I'm going to be coloring my hair. Uh, I won't show you the whole procedure that I do, but for you people out there, um, you just get your little bowl and half and half, and you just mix it, okay? And it's very simple. Now... You say, well, Dory, I don't know how to start this. Well, it's very simple. The back of your, behind your ears, and you take it the back behind your ears, that's, that's considered your front area and your crown area. So you bring those to the front. This is the part that's going to show more. The back of the part, you don't have to worry about it too much. It's not going to show too much. And by the time you get to your stylist, she'll go in there and correct any issues that you might have. Okay? So I'm just going to teach you how to, do that quick tip going in the front area so that you can go from session to session until you see your stylist the next time around, okay? So, um, now you don't want to color it because you blotch it up. Well, don't. Guess what they have now? They have these little cute things. Uh, Joico makes them. Uh, they, this one is a light brown, uh, brun clair in uh, French or castaño claro in Spanish. And this is the one that I would use if I have to go on a quick thing and outing and I don't have time to color my hair, leave it for 30 minutes. And I put a little bit on it on my side so that you can see, okay? Here's without 
here's width okay and, and and it's really cute because you just pour it and you spray it okay i don't have my glasses so i hope i don't and you think oh it's gonna stain me a lot no it doesn't stain you a lot you just you spray a little bit and you work it in see it's that easy you see voila versus this one okay you see so you just spray it in and guess what you can take it off it's is uh, it comes off with water take a shower you know I'm gonna have to color over it with my color because it's gonna come off with water okay but if you want if you go in on a quick thing you can do that and spray the middle and uh, they have different colors out there I don't know who sells them maybe Amazon I could tell you that I don't know the cost of them uh, but they can't be more than 10 bucks but it's something instant that can re color that okay these are some little quick tips. Now, you, there's some people that their color catches quick. So, you people with that, you don't want to go to the top of your hair. Why does it do that? Well, because we all have different parts of our scalp and our, and our head that are more, uh, get warmer than others. And they heat up the procedure of what you're doing, especially the coloring procedure. And that's why some of us catch quicker than others mine it takes a goal a good 30 minutes for it to color but um, because I have really stubborn so I'm going to take this off so I, I already brought my crown area to the front and I'm going to start back here around the ear area and I'm going to lift it up and you say oh Dory but I have some highlights not a problem that's not a problem you're not going to color the highlights are you going to do people is you're just going to color the inside where it's gray. That's it. And you take about, if you're doing ammonia, you have to take little bitty, less than half an, half an inch partings. So you just keep going, and you just keep going straight up. The people that, that want to do it up here, if you catch quickly, you have to wait up here, okay? That one is done at the end. So, and then you're going to go, and then you keep going up and up. Now, you say, okay, well, what about my crown? Yes, you can do your crown before if you want to, okay? Do all your crown first if you want to do all your crown, okay? That's fine, okay? So, there you go. I'm doing my crown area. And it's okay if you get stain on your skin. That comes off. You know how it comes off with the shampoo when it's dry? You put it on and you scratch it all real good. You don't even need uh, a... Uh, lotion to take it off okay so you this one so say you're gonna stop right in here because some people that all this catches real quick so when you stop right here come on the other side and do this one okay and keep going and then you come up and finish it up finish it up you keep going all the way and remember people you're only doing the root area it's not the way you think and you put the hair color all over and all no 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 you just do the root area that's it 20 20 30 minutes that's it you go rinse it off now before you rinse it off you stay on it 30 minutes before you rinse it out make sure you get you a white comb and just bring it down for about three minutes and that's it that way you won't have indentions of the color okay from your root area to the new growth okay so those are very quick tips that I'm showing you I'm going to continue coloring my hair because I do need a color. I, I can do that myself. I even do my haircuts myself. Uh, but like I said, y'all don't have to do the back. Only this part that shows. And that way you'll always have nice colored hair. Okay? Now, if you're not able to get the, the color systems that you want, ask your hair colorist. If you've been going to her, her or him for years, they'll be glad to share that information. They, of course, they want you to come to them. But if you go to them individually, if they're your friends, Come on, all of my friends and most of my clients, I give them so that they can, and I even teach them. I even give them, I even get them the little bowl in the brush so that they can do it a little bit at a time because sometimes you have those little roots or the little around the crown area that you want to just touch up. And it's okay to do that yourself, okay? I don't see a problem with that. The big thing is whenever the month comes in and you need to go to a stylist so that they can do all the correction and make sure they go in all the hair and redo the whole thing, okay? 
Um, those people that want to continue with the little bottle, well, uh, what can I tell you? The way I see it, you're going to spend a lot more money. They're, quite, they're five bucks each bottle, but you spend a lot more money because they're not as good. So you keep on wasting your money instead of going to a color specialist, uh, color specialist and do it. Uh, you're just wasting more money in the long run. And it's really a color that's going to not be good for you. You have to watch what kind of colors are out there. There's metal. There's Hannah, which has been used for a long time. There's all kinds. Um, I would be careful. You cannot just go from metals to a, a different color. It won't catch. You know, and if you're starting to use metals for a long time colors, yeah, they might be a little bit shinier. But in the long run, they're going to uh, affect your hair in a bad way. So just remember that. Um, Try to stick to a color that you like. The color specialists like me, they will make the color that you want. So know that for sure, uh, who you talk to and uh, what colors that you like. And let them know. Okay, well, those are some tips. I'm going to finish up my hair color. Pretty people, I'll see y'all soon. And the next segment, you will see my color. You know, it'll be a touch-up. I'll show you. Um, like I said, um, We'll be back in the next session and I'll show you that. And we're probably going to stick to a little bit of some other hairs. Tomorrow I'll be probably doing, if I'm going to color today, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a little bleach, uh, some, uh, uh, I guess, chunks in my hair. And I'll show you how to do that real quick for people that want to do it. Teenagers, be careful with these uh, chemicals. Uh, make sure that you're over 18 and you have a license if you know how to do that. If not, call me. Thank you for subscribing on the bottom. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Pretty people, and I'll talk to you all soon. Dory here saying goodbye. Bye-bye.